So today we're trying to get ready for our pioneer activities and one of the things that we need to do is build an area that we can cook outdoors. So we have this concrete block and we've got some gravel too and we're going to get started on that. So the tractor won't start so I guess we're doing it the old fashioned way. Yep. Oh. Okay. This might take a while. You think so? Here. Getting ready for Pioneer Day. Hey. So we are eating by oil lamp light. Yeah, today, this night, right now. So one of the things that we're going to be doing on Pioneer Day is also turning down the thermostat a little bit. Thankfully, our fireplace is now back up and op operational. Even though it is uh, just an insert, it does provide some heat in the uh, main living area of the home. So we will be supplementing the heat a little bit on these days uh, with our fireplace. So this is the first attempt at Pioneer Day, and the kids are not up yet. Letting them sleep in a little bit because of the time change. So I've got my oil lamp, and we are using gas. So I have my gas cooking stove here, and I'm heating up some water for my tea, frying up some bacon, and we'll get some eggs going here shortly. I, uh... Okay, Gabe, what are you doing this morning? Gathering wood for the fire. For the house? No! To cook outside. To cook outside? Okay, well, let's get some more wood. We should do what Crouch do? down so that way your match doesn't go out from the light breeze we got. Get closer. There you go. Go Lord ahead. Truth, roll the firelight. Go ahead. Okay, we're going to let this get going and mm -hmm. get some coals so we can start cooking our dinner. Hey guys, today we're cooking. Hey mom, what are we having? We're having red beans and rice in the cast iron Dutch oven. Sounds delicious. So I already soaked the beans overnight, the pinto beans. Um, da, da, da. I normally do use the dried beans just because they're more shelf stable. Um, I don't know, I just like them better. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is chop up a little bit of garlic and onion to throw in the pot with it. But the onion that we once had, we had to eat only, we could only use the green onion off of it. Yeah, um, I had an onion that started growing, so I thought I'd just take the green onion off the top and throw it in there too. So, and I don't really get finessed about all of this. I just make it rough chop, basically, because it's going to cook all day, so it's all going to go out. Actually, what time is it? It is nine o'clock, or a little bit after nine. Fire is already going, so we got some coals going so we can get this cooked up. And we will just keep the fire going and keep adding coals to the Dutch oven and see how it turns out. Seeing as how we have never cooked over a fire like this. But guys, just in case you didn't see our last video, Gabe is my name. I actually discussed Pioneer Day. So, yeah. And just in case you didn't see the last video. Okay, so we've got our onion, our garlic, our beans. We're going to put in some ham hocks, smoked ham hocks. But guys, remember, this is Pioneer Day. So before you watch this video, the day after Pioneer Day, 
go back and watch our other video discussing about Pioneer Day. So you know like what to do in case you want to do Pioneer Day. Gotcha. All right. So I'm putting in some bone broth. And pretty much that's it for now. Later on, we'll add the rice and we'll add our andouille sausage um, a little bit closer to the end. So we're gonna go ahead and get this ready to take out to the fire. So we've got a couple scoops of coals underneath of the Dutch oven and we're starting to put some on top. We'll get this going, keep the fire going on day. We'll have to keep on adding coals throughout the day to keep the temperature right. I'll probably be checking this frequently in the beginning um, just to make sure the temperature is where it needs to be for this to simmer. So we'll check back in with you in a bit. So we're coming out for our first check. It's been on for about 20 minutes. Looks like we've got a lot of really nice coals going now. So we're gonna check the, check the beans. Now I don't have a lid lifter yet. That's on my list, so we're gonna see. And we have steam, so we have cooking. Awesome. What you doing, Alex? Scooping. Sweeping. Okay, why are you sweeping instead of using the vacuum? Because it's uh, Pioneer Day. Yeah, so we can't use a vacuum cleaner, can we? Nope. All right. Mm. You're doing a good job. I'm heading out to check on my coals and check on our dinner. And I realized that I did not put any bell pepper in the pot this morning, and I should have. So I brought some out. off and it looks like it's cooled off a little bit so I'm gonna have to add some more coals it was actually simmering really good a little bit ago so we'll add some more coals from the fire and get it to warm back up I don't know why you're still wearing a coat so Gabe is making his own lunch Making him some sausage, and he's gonna have what? You're having melon, or you have an apple with that? I don't know yet. You don't know yet. So there's no use in a regular stove, and my kids do know how to cook, so or at least they are learning. I know how to cook spaghetti, sausage, bacon, eggs, and all pork like, chops. And all the pork chicken. chops, rice, chicken, chicken. And now you're learning how to cook on a fire, huh? Uh, what you making for lunch? A tortilla. A tortilla. You mean tacos? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, we've been cooking since uh, about 9.30 this morning. It's 4 o'clock now. We just added the rice and the andouille sausage. I also like to add a can of, um, like, Rotel. Oh tomatoes and uh, green chilies in there as well and we'll let the rice cook up when the rice is done cooking it'll be ready for supper um. so this is the finished product everybody's already gotten theirs okay who thinks it's good thumbs up no we got one maybe yes yeah, three of a kind and two of a kind right so he, so he can put that he's got the I got it, else, which is 25 points huh. that he would get. So it's the morning after our Pioneer Day venture. I'm really excited to try this again and maybe add some new challenges and uh, activities that we can learn some new skills. I asked the kids last night what was their favorite part and their least favorite part. Gabe said his favorite part was cooking outside on the fire and his least favorite part was washing dishes. Alex said his favorite part was being able to play games and use the oil lamp and his least favorite part was not being able to have electricity and play his video games. My husband, it would probably definitely be not being able to use the electric stove or the microwave. Uh, he come home from work and we had, he worked later. So uh, dinner was in the fridge and he wasn't too happy about having to heat it up on a uh, 
a, a the propane stove versus just being able to pop it in the microwave. So uh, a lot of challenges. My my favorite would probably have to be just being a little bit less connected to everything. Uh, being on your phone, being on video games, and having all those distractions. It was really, really nice to spend the whole day with my kids doing things and not being attached to a phone or some other device. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe took something away from it. And we're really excited for our next day.